All right, my thing is dying. You guys see, my truck is actually a battery, but it's just dying. The remote. Ow, that fucking hurt. But you can see how grippy these tires are. They were really slick at one point, and they just want to do donuts. Now they just want to grip up and flip me over. That really hurt. Smacked the hell out of my foot. Let's see. I'm gonna crawl on top of this tire though, just to show you guys how decent this RC is. How good it is. So, like it stops and everything. Like I literally like fold it and it just stopped me. I think my favorite feature though is the brake lights though, like, they're so fun to play with. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, I'm gonna turn this bad way off, it's kind of annoying. But um, yeah, I already didn't know which product to get, I didn't know if I needed to go with the Axial, Viterra, Sender. I was gonna get the Builders Kit from the, from the SCX Turn 2, because I am an Axial guy, as you see, I have one, two. Two Axial products. Okay. Love my axial. I mean, before, I mean, they were like the top of the game. Am I, am I wrong? And then this guy came out, and then it's like, axial, what the hell is that? Arizona boy, red cat. Doom, you're done, son. Uh, upgrade. You're done. You know, it's crazy. Like, how far technology has come, and like the bar for RC, and like its scale rigs, like, as far as like a ready to run, you know? Like you can still get like the base, like the basic scalp, like three hundred bucks. Like I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. You know what I mean? Because I understand what Axial does. Like I respect their brand and like what they do. But like, it's really hard to compete with something of of this tier. You know what I mean? Like if they made like a like a better like a high performance model with like better electronics, it was like five hundred bucks. You know? Like how much this thing cost? But it was like just had bad electronics. It was like a, a crappy version, like a like a premium version and like the base model version. But after playing with this thing a little bit, I I feel like more RC RC RCs RCs should come should come with uh drag brakes. Like I don't know about like this drag brake specifically unless this motor combo, but like a, a decent like like an okay like a cheap one. You know what I mean? Like something to stop on the rocks. You know, you know. Like, this thing stops on the rocks. And, like, it has, a, like, a really nice crawl control. Like, I don't really care about the crawl control because, like, I can crawl really nicely with my 20-turn brushed motor from, you know what I mean, from 2010. But, like, just an ESC as far as that goes, like, with a drag brake. I think, like, like I don't know how the, the, what is that, the AE3 or AE5. I don't even know what that ESC is called. But I had that in there from that. I stole it from there, put that in there because Castle the great monster truck who wants a slow monster truck not me but um I don't know I don't know like it just sets the bar so much higher for these brands and like selling to the consumer giving them a, a nice product and I think they did just that with this guy and there's a light it came off you can see Turn it back on. Let's see if we don't want to twist it. Take this a little bit. Yeah, that light is pissing me off. It always does that. Yeah, that light is going to piss me off. Probably for the rest of my life. But that's the only complaint I have. That light. I literally. Please, Red Cat, whoever's making these light kits for you guys, smack the workers in the head. Make sure the leaves don't pop out. 
Please. <laughs> Other than that, awesome truck. Like, I feel like the, the, the owner of the company was like, you know what? It's either evolve and adapt or not evolve and die. Like, these guys, they die. Especially that guy, he's like super dead. Like, you can't even buy one of those anymore, I don't think so. I think they like discontinued that crap. I think you can buy like the builder's kit for it, but as far as like the whole kit goes, you can't get that anymore. Uh, so I'm just gonna turn this crap off. Like I wanna fix this light, but I'm not gonna fix it and I'll just deal with it later when I have a, a better mindset. Cause right now, I'm like, fighting this light and it's not doing what I wanted to do. Fight the light, fight the light. Bro, what is going on? Wait. Now, this light pisses me off. Like, it will continue to piss me off until I replace it. Seriously. Like, I probably will have to buy another light kit or something. No. No. Whatever. It's just a bumper light, you know. It's not like it's my headlight too much, right? And I'm really upset. But, um... Yeah. Pretty decent setup. It works, you know, I just gotta plug it in right. Find a way to connect it. Turn that bad boy off. So there she is. Dry brake still on. Like I'm putting some decent force on these tires and it'll just slide instead of just roll. It's the drag brake. That's what I mean by stopping on the rocks. But you gotta understand, this is like one of the best drag brakes in the, that you can buy, like, ever, I think, right now. So, I mean, you can't really compete with that. But, like, the owner, like, the, the owner of the company was like, you know what? Forget about it. I'm freaking making my name known. And everybody will freaking know. It's like Jurassic Park. Like, I was thinking about that. Spread no expense. You know what I mean? And this is what you get. From sparing no expense was spared, and the customer, me, was super, super, super happy. Cause I don't have to do anything but plug a battery into it and go play with it. How many times were you able to do that before? Probably never. Dunk this thing in the water, never, ever, ever. Splash resistant, water resistant. Water proof. Proof. Look at that thing. It's all zip tied down and crap. I got everything like zip tied down. So nothing's flopping around in here. Nice, nice, secure. I think it's not pretty, but it's nice. It's secure. But yeah, so when I saw this product, then he talked me into it. He was telling me about, uh, like, really telling me about, like, the, the like the electronics in it and like everything that was um put into it and I was also thinking about buying like the, the red cat has like this trophy truck but like the electronics and everything in it is like not as great because it's just a, a trophy truck but I mean it, it's made to go fast and stuff get beat on that's why they really think about it but this is like a scale like 110 scale rock crawler compete with that guy but we got to beat that guy because that guy used to beat me like everything and I was like a little puppy and this was like the pit bull. And now this is the pit bull. And this is a little puppy. The tables have turned. But yeah. Spare no expense. So I hope this is a very good like marketing tactic for future businesses. For me as well. That the more effort you put into your things, the more you care about your product the more people will care about your product. Legit. Like, I don't even have $500 to this damn one. See, I don't even pay for it. Cheat it. But, I'm poor. And homeless. And jobless. Anybody knows that situation, you understand. But, for this, like, honestly, this is like the best 500 bucks I ever spent. Besides my Camaro. 
like 700 bucks, but like for an RC, you can't beat this. Like this system is $200 alone. Think about it. You go buy one of these, what, 300 bucks, damn. Fucking buy one of these, 200 bucks. You already got 500 bucks. And then the servo, you got, oh, okay, that's like another 100 bucks. And then the remote, the receiver, and then it has like six channels. And then I got like this thingy. Like 30 bucks. And I'm reporting. But man, I just can't say enough good things about Red Cat. Like, it's almost like I'm just like on the bandwagon now. I'm like, let's go, guys. Freaking did it. Freaking nailed the freaking hammer on the freaking head. Freaking made the most awesome truck ever. What a great, great vehicle. Now it's just time to fix my real life vehicles. But I'm happy that I have this product. It's a very great product. I feel like anybody who's in the RC industry doesn't really have a whole lot of time or a whole lot of knowledge or is just new in general. But like has like a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of whatnot. Like, when you see this thing, like, underneath, like, I never, like, seen RCs without the body on it. Like, if it doesn't have an interior, it doesn't have a steering wheel, it does, there's no seats, like, I don't care about it. And that's kind of, like, like the, the things I look for in RCs, just because you're going to do that anyway. Like, you want that that realism or something. Like, you want your toys in there. You want to be able to put, like, your little G.I. Joe in there, go drive around the trail. Like, you want that, like... Like you strive for that. That's what that's what this community of one ten scale is all about. And the fact that somebody is uh, making something that you don't have to do anything to, it even comes with an interior and everything. I think is great because I believe in the in the past, like Axial rarely did that, and like they barely started like doing it again. I think with some of their new products, I was looking at their uh, what was it their Blazer last night. Like they use the blazer body and I think like they're kind of going backwards a little bit like they're like want to bring back like the old school because like, this is what people are into like these bodies like these old classic like truck bodies people are really into these and I think that's what that's like their their marketing tactic but like Red Cat <laughs> nailed it with the scout too <laughs> little did they know my dad owned a truck just like that like literally that is my dad's truck without the flares uh cut the door in a V put some leather in it and a V so he can hang out of it. That is my dad's truck. I have the mirror still. I'm going to install them because I know I will break them off. I know I will break them off. And I don't even know how to install them. It seems like a pain in the ass. But I know I'll just break them off anyway. And like, this is all I really care about. The interior and the guy. Like, I don't need a mirror. Like, I'm not reversing. Like, I am. But like, I really don't need it. It's not that important. Like, some of the people it is. And I mean, that's what I mean. Like, this, like this. Like they op, they op, it's option, you know, they offer it as an option because they know how people are. And I think that's great, you know, because before, before you, you didn't have this, you know, you know, before you kind of had like, just get like this clear body, it was empty, there was nothing in it, really lightweight, felt really janky. This thing got some weight on it, like, especially with these guys in it, this thing got like eight, like six pounds in it, five pounds, maybe four, four, three pounds. It's got some weight on it. That's all like in the front up here though, like in the middle up here. So like all the weight in the back, it doesn't have too much weight in the back, but like the battery kind of balances that out a little bit, like the leads back here, and the spare tire, so it kind of does, but I feel like you just kind of want like a, a more weight in the front to keep the front end down, you know, but, um, climbing obstacles. I think that's what makes it so capable as well, is that, and so planted is that all the weight is up here, transfer case is nice in the middle, so keep some weight in the back, so not too much weight up front. You know what I mean? Where it's like just raking over, you know, like a diesel truck or something. It's still a crawler. So, I think they did a great job. Love the, I love the servo, the chassis on the servo, the little horn, the string horns, the three link. It looks awesome. It looks great. Why well, I didn't even see that. So that transmission, you see that? I think it's freaking like shiny and like, I didn't even see that before. Like the transmission plate. It's like, I think the housing's been out of metal. You can see that. That is a metal housing, I believe.
It feels kind of plasticky. Even if it is plastic, it looks fucking cool. But, big shot. Can't complain. Whatsoever. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So that's just me explaining why I feel the way I do about this vehicle. Because everyone's like, yeah, we could just do that. You know, it costs you the same. What not, but. It's already done for you, you know. It just takes the headache out of everything. The person who just wants to plug a battery in it, wants a good truck, wants something that works. You could take this thing to like a RC Adventures, like a tough truck challenge. I was saying, like, when I first got it, I was like, this thing is like tough truck ready. Like, besides the plastic bumpers, like, just put a metal bumper on it on the both ends, and it's like, this thing is a tough truck. Like, for TCC and like all those events that those guys are doing, this thing can do it. Like, I was. Like, I was playing with this thing in my front yard, and, like, it is incredibly, incredibly capable. Overly capable. And also very smooth. I was watching the old videos last night, like, of the, the, of the industry, and, like, how jerky and everything was. And, like, there was no break. Everyone was just, like, flying off the rocks and, like, rolling down, doing front flips and stuff. And then, like, when I was playing with this thing, I was like, what the heck has happened? You know what I mean? So hats off to Red Cat. Anybody who watches the video, please, please support Red Cat. It's like a homemade, like well, like a hometown brand right here. I'm glad I went with this product instead of an Axial or a Vatera or anything else for that matter. I was thinking about going with the Traxxas TRX4. This is like what's kind of remind. This kind of reminds me of the, the TRX4. Like it seems like Red Cat kind of like took some notes from everybody. Kind of, they were like, we need some weird. Instead, they saw what Traxxas was, was doing. And I, I saw what Traxxas was doing. I really didn't like it at first because the portal axles and whatnot. And like, I don't know. I just, I kind of just got like this hate thing for, for Traxxas. I don't know. I don't know why. I think it's because someone told me Traxxas was better than Axial. But it's like a personal preference. There's no like really what's better or not better. You know what I mean? But I think for the that ready to run, I think it was probably one of the best ready runs you could get at the time. The TRX4. But after seeing this thing, you know what I mean? It just, like, blew the TRX4 out of the freaking water. Because I was going to have to replace the body because I did not like the body on the TRX4. I did not like the body. I was going to do, like, a truck body, like a F-250 GMC, like a truck, like a long bed. Something like a, something that would look realistic pulling these guys. Like, the Scout really doesn't sound all realistic. But, I mean, I, mean, I could say I put a Duramax. You know I mean? There's so many things that you could, like, imagination. With, that's why I like 110 scale. There's so much imagination. And, like, there's, like, so much following in it. Like, it's a thing, you know? It's an actual thing. Like, so you got, like, a, a 124 scale RC, and, like, no one has one of those. Like, what are those? What is that? Why do you have that? You know what I mean? Like, no one even cares about that thing. Like, you can't even, like, have a truck meet or a car meet with those things, you know? Or, like, a decent one. Like, you can do some crazy, cool things with this truck. You know what comes with a hitch? I didn't show that. So, Red Cat gives you this little, this little kitty cat. The kitty cat got beat up a whole lot because I abused it. And then, yeah, this truck is awesome, though. I love this truck. This is, this is legit my dad's truck. With the spec. Like, if, like, like, literally, if I try to recreate my dad's truck, like, a couple years ago, it would never be as perfect as it. Because I always, I'm always to look up scout bodies and stuff. I always, like, try to build, like, a scout RC. Like, they don't have a scout RC. They don't have a scout RC. Like, a scout 2. Like, they had a scout 1 body. And then somebody made, like, a custom scout 2, like, out of wood. I remember that. It was, like, a really heavy body. I used to watch, like, all these crazy videos. Like, back in the day, though, like, like a long time ago. But somebody actually, like, I don't know if they checked my search engine history. I don't know what gave them the idea like and it's black too like my dad's truck was just like this black like everything just like this black and it's, it's just missing a winch honestly like my dad had a winch and that was it like and like probably the take change out these tow hooks like little horns because that's what he had he had like the little horns not the like these hooves like it looks like a horseshoe they were like horns so, you guys know what i'm talking about the like, more hooky but other than that it's like this is my dad's truck like this is why, like, I kind of compulsion by it. Like, the dude, like, was talking to me, and, like, he kind of, like, 
was like, do this guy, the, can this guy even afford this truck? Like, he was kind of like, like, he was trying to sell it to me, but he wasn't like overly trying to sell it to me. Like, he was like just telling me like everything I had and like how cool of a truck it was. And he just got into the industry like, he said like six months ago. So I probably know more about RCs than him. But as far as him seeing, like, he sells them and stuff. And, like, he had, like, this little store inside of the Arizona Mills. I'll give you guys the cards so if you guys want to check him out. He's a cool guy. He gave me a deal on the truck. Because he bought them in bulk. He bought, like, a bunch of them in bulk. So I think that's why he gave me a, a bit of a deal on it. Because uh, he got a, a deal on it himself. If I can find his card. I don't know where his business card went. There it is. So here's the... The store I bought it from. I bought it from Gift Tech. And then Red Cat is the company, of course, that we got the, the products from. Oh, uh, yeah. That's pretty cool. They also gave me like a paper for a warranty, but I didn't even look at that thing. Like, like I barely started reading like <laughs> The ESC and like how to tune all that stuff. Cause like I literally just plugged the battery into it, charged it, played with it like it was this. And then like I started seeing how what it was doing and it seemed a bit more than what I was using it for. And that's exactly what ended up happening. I found out a bunch of things about it that I just explained. And very, very awesome truck. Very cool. But, um, I think that's it for today, guys. I really just wanted to do, like, a actual review of this RC for the people. And, like, not, like, a ghetto video of me getting yelled at and, like, driving around in my backyard. And, like, you know what I mean. If you guys want to see that video, just go, go back on the, I think it was the last upload I did. Like, I'm eating, like, I'm eating something. I forgot what I was eating. I think it's, like, chips or something. But if you guys want to watch that, go ahead. You guys will see it a bit more, like, running. And like doing donuts and stuff and see how uh, stable it actually is under speed. Um, I have no complaints. People are saying it's a bit slow. But um, it's a crawler. It's not a, a monster truck. Or a, a quote unquote rock racer. I seen they have like another product like this. Axel made a new one. Like a new rock racer with like 1.9s on it. With curry axle, this seems pretty cool, but I like this body a lot better. I think I'll probably just steal the axles off of it and the wheels. But, um, that's it, guys. If you guys like the video, like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you guys think. Um, I think for the money quality the fun is all there go check out red cat gen 8 scout 2 the axe edition you guys get the normal one but i definitely recommend the axe edition definitely like like the electronics this thing comes with is phenomenal phenomenal but all right guys you guys have a good one. See all you guys in my next videos. Love you guys. Go have some fun with some freaking RCs. Go buy a grave digger if you, if you feel like. If you want to go do some jumps, you want to bash around, you want to go through a mud pit really fast. That's your that's your guy right there. Is it waterproof? Heck no. I think I got like a little bit of water on that servo and it's like gacking crazy. So I'll probably change out the servo. Other than that, it should be pretty good. I think that motor is waterproof. I think I remember reading something about that waterproof motor. But this is not a, like a crawling motor. This is like a high speed, like has all the power in the world. Like that motor is amazing. I love that motor. I want to put it in here, but I can't even bring myself to do it because this is a very, <laughs> very great system and. It, I don't think it'll do good in that. It'll do good in this, but it won't do good in that. But, um, alright, guys. That's enough for me ranting around. Check out the product. I'm not even, like, I'm not sponsoring this video. I'm not sponsored by anybody. This is just me taking time out of my day 
just to build up my channel a little bit to show you guys what I've been doing and um, what I've been playing around with and also what's going on in my life. But, yep. See you guys later.